Bobcat, next is now. You know, for the last 60 years, Bobcat has been the leader in compact construction equipment, and we're also the innovation leader. But I'm here to tell you today about the exciting things that we have here at the show that are going to make us the innovation leader for the next 60 years, on the job site and on the farm, wherever it may be. So let's get started. All right, so where do we get all these cool ideas, the things I'm going to talk about, things we work on? Well, a lot of it comes from the things that we all use, right? We're all consumers of technology. You see some of the brands up here. We're working with the leading companies and leading technologies going across the globe, Silicon Valley, wherever it may be, and bringing those technologies back to, to build the newest products, the best products, and even new services. And so these are the things that we want to talk about today, how they can become a part of our great equipment we've been building for the last 60 years. OK, so let's get started. What's the first thing we want to talk about? Let's talk about electric machines, OK? So back here in our booth, we got a couple of different electric machines. We have some electric hybrid prototypes. We have a compact loader, an S70, that has a battery pack in it, powers hydraulics. We also have a compact excavator, an E17, in there with a battery pack in it as well. And as you know, electric machines, zero emissions. Yep, no emissions. Eco-friendly, uh, eco we got full day run times, minimal maintenance, reduce operating costs. So electric machines, they're coming, right? We're all working on this. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But wait, there's more. Because back there is the world's first fully electric compact track loader. That's right, at this show, we're pleased to announce the world's first T76 all-electric machine. That's right, it's fully electric, it has no hydraulic system. There are no fluids on that machine back there. And so we're using a fully electric system, which means it's environmentally friendly, virtually no maintenance, ultra quiet. This is taking electrification to the next level, being able to do things on job sites that you never thought possible with a different kind of machine. I encourage you to stop by, we'd love to talk to you about it. Okay. Electrification, let's move on to the operator. Let's move on to the people that actually do the work. Let's talk about intelligent operation. And I want to talk about a few features here today that we're going to have in our kiosk on software as a service, maybe it's object avoidance, object alerts, even autonomous operations, different vision technologies. So let me give you a little flavor of some of the stuff we're working on and launching here this year. All right, so first up, max control, remote control. So. What we've done is, and all of you have one of these, right? Who here doesn't have a smartphone, right? No one will admit to that. But we're going to take this smartphone that you all have in your pocket, and we're going to make it a powerful tool to connect to this great equipment back here. This is one way for you to become more efficient on the job site. And the first part of this is a simple remote control. That's right. We have an iPhone remote control that you can plug into any one of our SJC equipped loaders all the way back to 2004. And that allows you to do what? Do operations remotely. Maybe stand outside the machine. Maybe you're the only person on the site. This is a platform to allow us to do other things, other features that I'm going to talk about in the future. Just like this gentleman here is loading up a machine on a trailer outside the machine. The simple, easy things that you maybe want to do on the job site. You know, you might be out there by yourself. You might be the only person on the job. You might be the only crew member. And you just got to be able to get your job done. Again, all this technology has to work. It has to be simple. And it has to allow you to save time and money. And that's what we're doing. We're reinventing equipment by allowing this technology to come to fruition. That's our Max Control Remote Control. It's available now for order. You can put it on any SJC machine all the way back to 2004. Now, with this platform, we can do something even more cool. So, no an object avoidance. So, what is this? Well, you guys know it as customers. You know it as your operators. Guess what? You hit things on the job site you're not supposed to. Well, we've come up with some technology to prevent you and your operators from doing that very thing. So, what do we do with known object avoidance? We take some digital images. They're actually augmented reality images, again, using that simple phone in your pocket. We take those, and we send them to the machine. And then when you get in that machine, when you drive it or operate it even remotely, guess what? You can't and you won't hit them. That's right. You can take this simple app, and you can see in this example, we're putting up virtual walls, virtual curbs, virtual barriers to keep machines out of areas. 
As you know on a site, there are some places you don't want people to be. This can keep the machine out of those areas. You can avoid those areas with your operators, whether they're in the machine or whether they're operating remotely. And in fact, you can mark utilities. You can mark different features and objects on the site with this phone. And again, send them over to the machine. Mark out your site before you, get, before you start your day and get in the machine. Hit a simple button, and you've enabled it. And so you can avoid these different objects. This is what customers tell us. Help me from hitting things on this job site. This is, again, a simple technology to allow you to do that. Now, if you combine the remote control and also the known object avoidance, you can do something even, even more cool. And that is program navigation. That's right. You can navigate on the job site using, again, the app on the phone and mark different points. And the machine will drive auto autonomously from point A to point B, one centimeter accurate. So it's going to go across the site. You can raise and lower the lift arms, do any other functions, and it's going to do that time after time again. Again, what do customers tell us? I got a job on the site. I have a job. I don't want to move around the site, have a person getting in and out of the machine. I can make the machine go back and forth where I need it to. Pick up an object, send it back, send the machine back and forth. We're combining these simple features together, again, to make you more productive on the job site. Save time, save labor. A lot of times you don't have all the people out there. Maybe they're not qualified. These are the kinds of technologies that we can combine together to enable these solutions. Now, here's one that's kind of fun. It even wigs us out when we talk about it. But this is an operator vision technology. So what does this mean? We are going to make the front windshields of our machines, a loader, an excavator, a touchscreen. We are going to enable that front windshield to display video. So you can have different video feeds from the machine. Maybe it's instructional videos. You can see in here, you can also see different gauge clusters. Remember those objects we wanted to avoid? Guess what? You drive around the site, you can see those on the front windshield as well. This is the kind of technology people are talking about. Take an automotive technology, take something simple and bring it to life. And this is another example of what we're going to be doing here over the next year to introduce to the marketplace. Cool technology. OK, last thing I want to talk about today is something we call features on demand. So what's features on demand? OK, so on our R-series loaders that are sitting back here, we've embedded a special package of features on that machine that you can call up when you need them. That's why it's called on demand. So what are those features on that package? Well, high flow. Two speed, reversing fan, bucket positioning, ride control. We've embedded all of those on the machine back there. And then using, again, simple app, your phone, you can call those up. And in our first phase that we have launched uh, here, this uh, early part of this year, the dealers enable these for you when you need them. In the future, you'll have the ability to do it. But just think, if you're on the job site and you need one of these features to complete a job or you have a special attachment, now you can call up the feature when you need it. You may not have to purchase all those up front. You can buy them when you need them or rent them when you need them. Or you can enable them later if you upgrade or you have something else you're doing on, uh, with your equipment. This is all about making you more flexible on the job site, allowing you to get that job done faster and more productively and safely. OK, so where's all this heading? Where's all this technology and things I'm talking about? It's really taken us to this connected job site. And when I say connected job site, it's connecting you, the operator, with the equipment. You know, think about our phones, our vehicles, all the other things we use every day. It's about the experience and the connectivity that you have with that object, with your phone, whatever it is you're interacting with. That's what we're using here. We're taking our great equipment that we've been building for 60 years, and we're combining technology using a personal device you already have to be able to enable these different features. And there's more coming after this. Again, let's combine the technologies. Let's keep it simple to be able to do that. Now, you might think these things are years from now. They're not. We're launching a number of these right now. A couple more are happening this year. Because at Bobcat Company, it really is next is now. And know that we're committed to advancing the compact equipment industry through technology and innovation. Thank you very much.